Peter Roberts here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna review the Freelap Timing System. It is a compact, very accurate timing system that really comes in handy if you do any speed training. The short version is, I think it's a great product, but there are just a couple things you wanna know before you buy it. So, check out the review, I'm gonna show you how to use it, what I like about it, and what I don't like so much about it as well. Enjoy. So basically, you have like sort of this stopwatch receiver. You have these things that you place along the route that you're running. And every time this gets in within one meter of this, it's going to beep and it's going to register the exact time on the watch. It's A, motivating because you know exactly what time you got and you can try to improve. And B, it just lets you know exactly how you're doing, how much you're slowing down, when is a good time to finish the workout, etc. So it's super simple. You're going to take the watch. To get to the timing function, you hit mode. You go into the chrono mode. Now you are ready to use the timing gates. You're gonna go ahead and put the watch around your waist and you wanna make sure that the watch is on the same side that the timing gates are gonna be on so you're nice and close. I like to put cones down so cars don't run over. If you're at a track, this doesn't matter, but if you're on the street, it's a good. For a traditional start, use the Touch Pro. Simply hold down the button. As soon as you see the green light, you can release it and it will activate the watch. You can set multiple timing gates to get split time. So you can see I have the starter and then two timing gates for this situation. So when I start, it's going to register that first one, it's going to register that second one and give me a final time. You can also do flying starts so you just don't use the start button and you just run through the timing gates and it'll give you a start and a finish. A couple things that are maybe downsides of the free lap timer, it sometimes doesn't always register your times. 99% of the time this is not a problem but occasionally it just won't give you a readout. I think that most of the reason why this happens is because the transmitter that is on your belt, the stopwatch, needs to be within one meter of the little stick or, or transponder. And occasionally the way that you set it up or the way that you run, that may not always happen. So if you start and your hips are really high and they're far away from the timer, the start timer, or if as you're running through, you know, the belt is maybe on your uh, right side, but the timer is on your left side, those things just may be too far apart to read. So just be mindful of that. And if you're having a problem with that, you can always raise the transponder or the little stick thing up on a little box or something like that. So it sits a little closer to hip height and you shouldn't have any problems with that. Overall though, I really like the free lap timer system. I think it is a great addition to any coach's arsenal if you actually train people in speed and you wanna actually know and measure are you getting them better because otherwise it's very hard to do that by hand timing. And if you're an athlete who is interested in getting precise times, especially for speed work where the difference between using a hand timer and just those tenths of a second actually makes a big, big difference, you're gonna get so much more accuracy with this product. Now, I don't get any money from these guys, but this is just how I feel. Uh, I now, if some of you out there have used the free lap or maybe another timing system and you guys have some feedback or some comments or some questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them and I would love to learn from you. If you're a little newer to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, please do so now. Click that subscribe button and you are gonna get all the great updates that I put on this channel. All right guys, have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye bye.